Hello and welcome back to SF, a Giants recap. And the Giants, they barely beat the Padres after a very frustrating win, which doesn't usually make sense, but the Giants, they had the game 7-1. to one. No questions, we're going to cruise through this to get the win, but no, we had to have a Rodgers struggle, the defense struggle, and Duvall struggle. And everything kind of fell all apart. So that's what we're going to go over in today's recap. Make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying but the Giants offense today, they did pretty solid. We saw three home runs in one inning. Uh, Gerard Encarnacion, Matt Chapman, Luis Matos, and then Kirk Sally later in the game had a home run. We saw a lot of people show up like we don't usually expect. Uh, Encarnacion hasn't been doing, like hasn't been having the power that he did at the start of his kind of season this year. And he came through today, same with Chapman, who's not really surprising. He's been doing that a lot this year. And he continues the rake, so that's great to see. Uh, but we saw Luis Matos. He came back with the power after getting called back up a little while ago. And, uh, and then Kirk Sally, first home run of the year. And he finally showed up. It's I've been cheering for him because I like Kirk Sally as a person. But he's just been struggling so bad offensively that seeing him get a home run is finally just like re a relief. Because it's been a painful offensive performance from him he did have a little bit of a streak where he was hot for a little bit but no home runs and today finally got the home run so we we're going smooth spencer bivens was uh pitching really well four and a third only giving up one run he was doing uh well and the bullpen with miller who was doing all right and then taylor rogers allows a couple runs and then tyler rogers struggles we had a defensive blunder with there's a pop-up and then it was Kind of on the second base side, so it was Luciano's ball, but Fitzgerald's calling for it, and shortstop has control. He's yelling for it. He's right there. Luciano does not hear him, does not understand, does not move, and they collide and drop the ball. Now, that one's a little bit iffy on whose fault that is. I would say it's probably 60% fault on Fitzgerald, 40% on Luciano. It's Luciano's ball, probably, because he's camping right under it, but if you hear someone calling for the ball, you let them have it. And you have no business going for it because if they miss it, it's their fault. If you hear it, you go away. That's the general rule in baseball, especially if it's a shortstop and it's any pop fly remotely close to second base. Let the shortstop just take it because they have control. But, I mean, it was probably Luciano's ball. So just some stuff like that with the youngsters and having that little mishap is pretty pathetic. Something needs to be kind of fine-tuned with how you communicate, where the boundaries are, what the usual play is there. So something like that needs to be avoided in the future for the Giants if they want to be competitive, a contender, someone who you're looking at, and the Giants are not that right now. Uh, Camille Duvall, again, struggles in the eighth inning. He has to hand it over to Ryan Walker, who, of course, Ryan Walker goes out there, gets a five-out save, picks off a guy, makes it look easy, and that's what we love to see from Ryan Walker. I don't know why he hasn't been the closer all year. Uh, I think the fans saw it. A lot of us, all of us, were able to kind of know that Ryan Walker was going to be that guy. And he gets the opportunity, and he's been performing really well. And today, he uses his brain when he's pitching with the pickoff. He knows the location. He gets the ground balls, doesn't try to do too much, doesn't take his extra time, doesn't try to be fancy. He gets the job done, and that's what I love about Ryan Walker being a closer. It's nothing extra. It's get the job done, get the game over, and help the Giants get the win, and that's what he's been doing. So thank goodness for Walker, but Taylor, Tyler, Duvall, not great games from them. So that will do it for today's recap, though. The Giants offense, they show up. Giants pitching struggles, and Ryan Walker saves the game for us. So I'll see you next time for a new SF Giants recap video.